two misconceptions that have to be addressed and corrected before we meet Allah. Number one is that the purpose of my creation is only to worship Allah, right? Wrong. The purpose of our creation is to worship Allah and equally as important is to establish and propagate the deen of Allah. Allah says in the Quran, Shara'a lakum. It has been ordained upon you like it was ordained on the Prophet Noah and it was ordained on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam like we ordained on Abraham and Moses and Jesus. What is it? What is this thing that was ordained upon us, O oh Allah? An aqimu deen Establish deen. It has to be established. My life and my money and my resources are to be exhausted in establishing deen on earth. The second misconception is that my money is my money. I've worked hard for it, so therefore I can do whatever I want with it, right? Wrong. Your money and my money belongs to Allah. And how we spend that money has to be in accordance to what pleases Allah. And the best way to spend your money is according to the advice of our scholars. They say that when you and I spend our money, it should be spent in this order. Number one, your money should be spent on establishing deen on earth. This is the greatest avenue to spend your money. And this comes in multiple ways. Mosques, schools, universities, supporting a student that is learning about the deen of Allah, supporting the propagation of deen. So you might ask, well, okay, how much money should I spend here? The scholars say, bila hisab. Basically, don't pull out your calculator. No matter how much money you throw on this particular avenue, the more the merrier. Two is humanitarian aid to help those that are less fortunate, to help the sick, the needy, the poor. You catch my drift. How much can I spend on this? The scholars also say, bila hisab, put away the calculator, don't count with Allah, exhaust all your avenues in these two. The third thing the scholars say is, you should spend your money on your family. How much should I be spending on my family? Here they say, according to what they need. And the last is to spend your money on yourself. How much? According to what you need. The Prophet ﷺ, he says, if I had gold equivalent to the mountain of Uhud, I would spend it all within three days. Spend all of it. I will have nothing left of it on these two. Establishing deen and helping the needy. And when the Prophet came to his family and he came to himself, he says in the authentic hadith, O oh Allah, make the provisions of Muhammad and his family the bare necessities. This is how our money should be spent. Unfortunately, we live in a world where this has been completely turned upside down. Today, I spend most of my money on myself and I spend it bila hisab. I buy whatever I want. And then I spend my money on my family, anything that they want and they, that they desire. And then if I feel bad enough or I feel guilty, I give some money in charity. And unfortunately, the most important of the four, the establishing deen on earth, gets almost none of my attention.